Hey guys and welcome back. Today I have another amazing video for you, once again about Fancy Guppies. I've prepared another video in Fancy Guppy Strain series about a strain that's quite popular these days. It definitely is currently one of my favorite strains, so without any further ado guys, sit back, relax and enjoy the ride. Another very interesting strain of fancy guppies that's quite popular in a hobby is koi guppy. There are several variations of this pattern like for example tuxedo red koi, platinum koi or kohaku koi. In this video I'll present you by far my favorite variation, albino kohaku koi. Unlike other more traditional strains that I've already presented in this series, I was not able to discover who designed this particular strain and when it was done. However, from the materials that I came across we can assume that it's quite young strain and most likely was developed in Japan. Nowadays several varieties of koi guppies can be seen on the majority of guppy or library show and this strain has definitely gained significant popularity across breeders and fish keepers. Their attractive coloration, activity and peaceful nature makes them an amazing choice for smaller aquariums or even community tanks. It's also common that you can find this strain in pet and aquarium shops because its beautiful coloration will definitely attract an eye of any hobbyist and they're really easy to sell. Albino Kohaku Koi strain have the typical albino red eyes and the body coloration is much more blonde and white than in their regular Koi Guppy sibling strains. For those of you that are not familiar with albinism in aquarium fish, it basically is an anomaly or genetic defect that's described as an absence of any pigmentation or coloration in the animal. By selective breeding you can establish this anomaly and create the albino strain, however, it's necessary to know that albino strains are much weaker and much more difficult to maintain. So although albino strains look absolutely amazing, I would not recommend them for beginning breeders. Looking closer to males of this strain, they do show a red pattern on most parts of their body including dorsal and tail fins, and usually the chest and lower backside will show blonde. These particular males have round tails and beautiful elongated fleck-like dorsal fins. The ideal male of Kohaku Koi would have most of the body blonde and the red coloration would be covering only fins and the red markings on the saddle and nose. Unlike the full red guppy strain that these fish are closely connected to, males should not have any red coloration in their gonopodium. Females have much less red coloration in their bodies and usually they have colored tail fin, saddle and nose. Usually females do not have any red coloration in their dorsal fin and their anal fin is also majority of time colorless. Anal fins of females are shaped as triangles and are also the way how you can sex the fish as males have anal fins in the form of tube or stick called gonopodium. Their red nose is one of the main characteristics of females in koi strains and in Japanese it's called kushibeni, what in direct translation means lipstick, and they also call the same way koi fish with this particular pattern. From the judging perspective for fancy guppy shows, if we would be trying to find the perfect pair of this strain, as the short tail fish the perfect body size of the male, from the muzzle to the beginning of the tail fin would be 18 mm, and the body shape should be robust, but graceful according to the standards. The tail fin should be perfectly round and therefore oval shape, flat parts or any defects of the fin would result in deducting several points. The dorsal fin should reach exactly to the beginning of the tail fin and should be flag shaped with round at the end. Vitality of the fish is also important and is judged, so make sure that you'll choose vital and active males. Females are judged differently than males. Female fish is judged based on its size, which should be bigger than male. Overall shape, matching with male and vitality are another traits that judges are looking for. Matching with male in this strain would be according to color and important is also color of eyes, 
as in case that one fish in the pair would be albino and the other one would not, it may be the reason for deducting few points in this category. Whether you are a guppy nerd trying to breed a perfect guppy or hobby is looking for a nice colorful addition to the fish room, consider albino kohaku koi guppies. They're definitely worth getting, however bear in mind that albino strains are in general weaker and therefore are recommended for experienced breeders. Thank you very much guys for watching, I really appreciate every single one of you. I hope you've enjoyed the video and please in the comment section below let me know whether you also like this train as much as I do. We are on the way to 5000 subscribers and I'm super excited to take this journey with you guys. So please don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you haven't done already and I'm gonna see you next time.